Yo, what up? This is Fat Man coming from his home. Just want to say hi. All y'all doing? Happy. I don't care what day it is. I just want to talk about this problem in this situation. Ladies and gentlemen, out there, you you know nothing about love. You will not understand love. You will not get it, and you will have no control over it or the feeling you have with other people that have love in the same category and factor. Love is an emotion, a feeling that comes from within, deep down in your gut. Something that you can never feel again in your life, no matter how many times you count it over again. For young people nowadays, love is just that word. They say, oh, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. But that word has a lot of meaning to it. A lot of struggle and strength behind it when people use it too many times. You have to take love and put it in a different category for other people. You can't always say you're going to be with someone for a long time. Because forever is forever. Really. When they say forever is forever, they really, really mean forever is a long time long time and people take it to an extent to cheat to be with someone else to do this to do that because guys and women always feel tied down when you're with someone for a long time you do the same things you do different things and you're just having a lot more fun with it but after it gets after all said and done after you wake up and the person's still next to you your emotions start to decrease your, your love for them starts to still be there but dies a little bit no matter how much you get old in the future or how much you've been with them for a long amount of time since high school or up to your grown-up years, you still have the same love for them you had, but it starts to become something different. Like a friendship you developed for a long time, but that friendship turned into the word love. You meant it when you said into both each other's eyes, I love you. Then you got a little more older and decided that you're still with this person. And other people that see you with each other you know, feel jealous that they don't have the same love because love comes from a long, long time of whatever. You find that somebody is harder than anybody find anybody. Please, I felt love. All the people have felt love. All the people wanted more love. In the real world, love is not like how it is in the comic books, the video games, the TV shows. Love is harder to find. It's so hard as impossible. You can search around the entire world and you can make something to that person, but you won't have the same feelings you have for them as you are lusting over them no you have the same feelings that you just know they're there love is only that one feeling that you can get from one person or many many people can love you but you have to love one person you can love your friends you can love your family you can love cats dogs or animals you can love God please but when you have love for a woman a one-on-one -on -one person, someone you can open up to just like you open up to everybody else, but more private, detailed stuff, that's love. That's more un that's more conditional. And if she feels the same way about you, that's how it's been for a long time. I've been in high school. Four years of high school. One, two, three, four. After those four years are up and you don't find love in high school, well, that's too damn bad. Then you move on to college. And then you find love in college. And then you probably got four years or three years or whatever you're doing in college to find that love. But you realize it's not there. Then you go on to the working world. And then you find love someone in the working world. And if you don't, then oh well. Then you're still working and working. And then you reach your golden years. Your 80s, 40s, 50s, whatever. Then you find love when you're like uh, 72. And you're 72 years old. But you're probably still kicking it. You know what I'm saying? And then there's love. How long did it take for you to reach love? After being teenager to grown adult to old person at 72. And then you find it. And then that person dies. And then you're still living. Reality is, love is hard. Love is hard to find, keep, and make someone into that. You can't just find somebody, say you love them, and bam. No, wrong. Those work that way. Time takes a consensive long. Ugh. Time takes long for you to find someone that you want to be with, and they want to be with you in the same way. And you can't just be with someone for a long amount of time, and they be like, oh, you love them. You have to also take a hiatus off of them. When you're with someone for a long time, hiatus. In other words, separate yourself from them so you'll miss them longer. That's how love stays strong. Freak, Cupid was a real person. He'd be shooting arrows at everybody's ass, but he's not a real person. Love is within the person itself and with other people. I have heard people say, oh, I'm in love with this person. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Let's see how long that lasts. People have lasted four, three good years of their lives, two months, four months, eight months, whatever, of your lives searching for love. That's how it is can't just expect it to fall into your lap and you have somebody. You can't just expect it to be in the street. It probably is, but you have to basically get off your ass and look. 
people say I want love, I need love, I da da da, I da da da, I want somebody. That's how it's been forever. You can't just say it. You have, to, and when you do it, and if you don't find it, you can't get mad. That's how it is. Life is harder than a movie or comic or video game. Life is hard because you can't find that special someone you want to be with. In other words, keep looking as hard as you can and you won't find it. I'm, I've been in love. Other people have been in love. Am I with that person? No. I just told them how I Oh, yeah. If I was really interrupted. Love comes from every, every corner of the acres. But you have to look for it in yourself and other people. It's hard to find somebody. Believe me that. It's harder to get over somebody you truly care for when they don't have the same feelings for you. Shit, it's very hard. And then when a person finally comes to their senses and they want you, then it, it, it's, been, it's been too long. You actually found somebody. They finally feel the same way, but it's not like how it would be in a book or something else. In books, there's love all around. Cupid's just shooting his arrows at everybody's ass, right? <laughs> yeah. But that's not how it is. And life is a little more wanting, searching, very, very deep inside. You take a longer time to look for love than you would have in other people. Since you got your family and friends, you sometimes don't need love. You say, ah, I'll find it eventually. And then you just sit down and do whatever you can, work hard, get some money. And then along the way, you probably had a party. You're bored as fuck and you made the party. And you're, you know, you find someone there that she's the same way. And then you're talking a long time. And then it's like a movie. But then that's it. There's many situations you can find love. And high school is not one of them. College ain't one of them. The workplace ain't one of them. You just, in no certain spots. My friends told me, his teachers have basically gone on to marry their high school sweethearts. Some people do. That's how it is. But you're not lucky than that person. You're not that teacher. You're not this person. You're different. That's how we were all created. We're all different. We all can search for love. We all can find it eventually. And that's it. But you can't keep hoping that person's going to one day fall in your lap. You have to think for yourself that love is hard to find. Plus that, you're just going to wonder... Who you love and who is it gonna be? I always, always imagine myself falling in love with a red crazy chick. I mean, a red-haired chick. I said red crazy chick. That's funny. But a lot of people don't know you can't just fall madly in love with somebody. If someone fell in love with you, awesome. But they would be, they would be falling in love with you and they'd be crazy because you don't like them back. That's how the feelings are, and that's how it is. To you, it's more different to anybody else hard enough and stop posting crap on facebook about oh why does no one love me why can't i find a bit stop bitching <laughs> love is not just gonna fall into you your friends or whoever you got added on your facebook are just gonna tell you certain comments just to get your ass that's it girls and guys understand this guys want love more than women but we all don't have what everybody has Having something in common, then you probably get far enough to say, I love that person. Because having stuff in common is more harder, it's more understandable. Having this in common, you hate this, you love that, you like certain fruits, you exercise, you know. Having stuff in common with people basically will find you love in a long spot. Or you meet a friend that they're not interested, but they have other friends, you know, do the whole friend thing, you know, skip to one friend to another friend. Yeah, that, that, that basically finds you somebody. But don't be the person that's in their late, like, 30s. Yeah, I got a message. In their late, like, 30s, and then they find love. This person's going to be like, really? And, you know, you're in your 30s. Your friend's getting married. And then you're loveless. And then you're thinking about, you know, the bride's, the bride's friends. You know, which one you're going to screw. And then that's just, that's just you, right? You know, that's just you. Like, hey, I see you made an honor. I'm going to get her. Because I'm, I'm his best man. <laughs> Thank you. But, you know, that's how it is. On the long run, have fun with it. And then love will come eventually. But don't just really, don't have your mind open to that spot. Don't have your mind open to, oh, you know, I'm just going to have fun with it. And the love's going to come in my lap. You know, don't think about it like that. It's not going to happen. Every guy parties for the rest of their lives. They get tats. They drink. They give up all the money to the hoes and the smuts. And that's it. But those guys don't love. You can't make uh you can't make a smut into a housewife. No. You can't turn somebody into this. No, it's not how it works. If they've been that way forever, you can't change them. You can't change certain people. That's not how life is. 
you as a person, individual, can't just say, oh, I'm going to love somebody. Even girls and guys know, like, all right, you're just going to have fun with it. You know, make out, do dirty stuff, do whatever. That's it. And then eventually, that special someone's going to be there. If not, they're going to be the person you're partying with for the rest of your life and never know it. Hey, that's how it is. But until then, stop bitching on Facebook, YouTube, or Twitter about love. And stop telling other people love videos because you don't know. You never felt it. You're just saying what you know. Like me. I felt it, but I'm seeing what I know. And I've had experiences with it. Having experience doesn't make you the wisest person in the world, the three wise men, or, you know, anybody. But you just know what's there in a person. And they know what you have, and you know what they have. It's the body parts. And eventually, if you don't want love, just go out, have fun, and screw somebody. You know, you won't feel better, but you, at least you did that. This is Fat Man coming to you and saying, thank you, go find your own, and peace out.